Welcome to the Sunday service of the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship in Laguna Beach. My name is Noreen Kukinen, and I'm the worship associate this morning. Um, I'm proud to be serving the community. Our service is entitled Inspiration Through Music and Song. We're delighted to have our music director, Carol Cole, as our speaker this morning. She will provide the music for this service as well. Serving our congregation with the technical needs are Pam Floodman and Don West Jr. They work really hard uh, to get the show on the road, so to speak, and deserve a lot of credit for their dedication to UFLB. They're the salt of the earth in our fellowship. Behind the scenes are Candy Strzok, Paul Bogdan, Dara Skorecki, who help us in so many ways with our services and more. And there are many others. All of us try to do what we can to keep our congregation going. Thanks to all who help us to keep going, this little church that can, uh, to keep us on the track. This congregation is open to all who are in accordance with our principles, mission, and vision. We unconditionally welcome all who come through our doors as part of our community of mutual caring and serious intent to grow as spiritual and moral beings. We gather because we share the same principles and values, and we can help each other lead meaningful and purposeful lives. Our gathering music today is from the nonprofit Empty Hands Music. You, you might notice an Indian influence. They work with an orphanage in, um, I think it's, um, Chang, Chang, um, oh, pardon me, Bombay, which has a different name these days. I think that's where they are. Uh, they share their work in uh, what they call an intention of spreading seeds of goodness through the music, unquote. Their song, Planting Seeds, encourages us to just plain do good for its own sake. Music like this can teach lessons, bring insights, and connect us to other people. Music, Ludwig van Beethoven said, is the mediator between the life of the senses and the life of the spirit. It has the power to elevate the soul as well as the mind. Here at UUFLB, we enjoy singing in chorus, excuse me. We enjoy singing in chorus. I don't know if you can see the message on my screen. We enjoy singing in chorus, the hymns that remind us of our principles. Of course, our talented music director, Carol Cole, is essential to this uplifting part of our service, our worship, uh, would be sorely lacking without Carol, whose talent at the piano keys and kindly coaxing of us to sing along add depth to our worship. Today, we're pleased to also have her as our speaker. With her extensive background in musical performance, she has a lot to say about the inspiration we gain from music and song. We look forward to hearing from you, Carol. In our faith, we have seven principles that guide us. These can be found in the poster in front of our, our um, church and also online at uua.org. I believe music relates to each of these goals, especially our desire for a world community with respect for the interdependent web of all existence. Music connects us as it lifts us from our solitary world to something much bigger. We have one symbol in our faith. We light a flaming chalice in worship to create a reverent space for reflection, prayer, meditation, and singing. Today, Pam will light the chalice within our sanctuary, and I have lit mine. If you have a candle near you at home, please light yours now. Ah, oh, Dara. Thank you, Dara. These are the words of Marnie Singer from our UUA worship web. Our chalice is the container for wisdom, music, love. The candle is the fuel. 
the efforts of all of us to support our congregation. The wick is the instrument and the voice through which the music will flow. And the flame, the flame is the music which is created as if by magic, when the keys are struck, the breath inhaled and the downbeat is sounded. May this flame ignite the music within us all. Our centering thought for this service this morning is from St. Augustine. They who sing, pray twice. We'll open our service with a hymn that Carol will play. It's number 346 in the gray hymnal. Come sing a song with me. Please join in. Good morning, everyone. Carol. Beautiful, Carol. We now will repeat our unison affirmation that says why we come together as a community. Please unmute yourselves so that we can join our voices as we reaffirm our shared beliefs. May we be reminded, be reminded here of our, of our, of our highest, highest aspiration. aspiration. And inspired, and inspired to bring, to bring our gifts, our gifts of, love and, of love and service to the, the altar of humanity. Of humanity. May, we May we know once again, once again that we are not, we are not isolated, isolated beings, beings, but connected, connected in this mystery miracle, miracle to the, the universe, universe, to this community, community and to, and to each other. other. At this time, the recording will be stopped. This is our opportunity to share our life's happening. 
We are caring and generous community, even if we're pretty small right now, we're growing. And our gifts do much more in the service of bringing justice and balance to our world when we pull our resources in our offertory basket. Our donations help sustain and grow the mission of this congregation. May we give in love and hope. From you I receive, to you I give. Together we share, and from this we live. Donation information is on the slide that you see and in the email that you received to announce the service. In gratitude for all that we have and all that we bring to one another, let's sing our song of thanks. Thank you, Carol. During the meditation this morning, we have a video, a short video to play with some beautiful music. During this meditation, try to focus on your breath to calm the mind and relax the body. Let's begin by finding a comfortable position. Roll your shoulders slowly forward and backward. Lean your head from side to side. And you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder. Relax your muscles. Continue to relax as you meditate on the beauty of the natural world and the images on our screen. There'll be a moment of silence at the end, and then Carol will play us out. Thank you, Carol. I'm so happy to introduce you this morning for our guest speaker. I'm learning about you, and I think you're great. Carol has been the music director at UUFLB for over 12 years, enjoying the wonderful people who have participated in the choir and church leadership. Carol began her musical path at age four in a small town, a farm town in Missouri, where her parents completely supported her private voice, piano, and dance lesson. Her musical education culminated with her master's of performance degree in voice at USC. The lifelong Missouri girl became a Californian, married a true California guy whom she met at USC, and with them having a beautiful daughter, Nicole. Performing became her career, singing and playing in clubs, hotels, musical theater stages, Las Vegas showrooms, corporate productions, and an eye-opening USO tour in Vietnam. Songwriting and teaching also accompanied her performance career throughout. And now she is excited to be sharing her music with her grandson, Colt. Carol's wonderful equine and can canine friends have always been and continue to be a wonderful, special part of her life. Welcome to Carol. Well, good morning. Here I am again. You're hearing a lot from me today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I can't see all of you because I'm doing this from home on my, uh, my little iPhone. But thank you for whomever may be here. I uh, hope that you enjoy my presentation. 
<clears throat> today I want to present to you through word and song some hopeful inspiration relative to the individual and to our earth, the first to the individual. These two years have possibly been the most difficult for many. Our independence has been challenged. We've struggled from separation from uh -huh. loss of family and friends and financial difficulties have loomed and the list goes on. As bad it is, has been, particularly for the poor, hungry, the elderly and caregivers, we are not the first generation to struggle and be able to survive, in fact, ultimately persevere. But in the struggles of the here and now, what has uplifted me is nature, the arts and music, and of course my family. I have tried to match songs to my thoughts and to the writings of others, and I hope you enjoy them. My first song is loved by many and its lyrics say it all. Remember, a smile, even behind a mask, can be seen in your eyes. Smile and the world smiles with you, as they say. You'll feel better and you'll help someone else feel better as well. <clears throat> smile though your heart is breaking smile even though it's aching when there are clouds in the sky you'll get by to live over here in Mission Viejo on the lake. And I can say that enjoying the nature around me has lifted me up, especially over these last two years. To see the ducklings and the goslings in the spring, hearing the fabulous honking of their adults, taking in the beauty of the trees that surround me, the flowers, the birds, all of nature. Yes, my Missouri farmland upbringing undoubtedly was responsible for this awareness. I see life and love in all that nature bestows. And I encourage you to stop more often to literally smell the roses. So much is there for you within nature and our wonderful animals and pets. Take it all in. You'll feel better, I guarantee it and look for those rainbows. This next song is a song that I kept going back to last year. Uh, it's written by Casey Musgraves. It's a bit of country. <laughs> I'm trying to give you a mix of music today. And it's called There's Always Been a Rainbow. It rains, it pours, but 
individual and more toward the overall relationship with mankind in our world for which we are the caretakers. I've chosen some writers, writings, pardon me, of others that um, I once again try to match with a song. I'd first like to share uh, this particular writing by Floyd Red Crow Waterman, and it's called Prophecy. Everything is spiritual. Everything has a spirit. Everything was brought here by the creator, the one creator. Some people call him God. Some people call him Buddha. Some people call him Allah. Some people call him other names. We call him Tunkachila, grandfather. We are here on earth only a few winters. Then we go to the spirit world. The spirit world is more real than most of us believe. The spirit is everything. Over 95% of our body is water. In order to stay healthy, you've got to drink good water. Water is sacred, air is sacred. Our DNA is made out of the same DNA as the tree. The tree breathes what we exhale. We need what the tree exhales. So. We have a common destiny with the tree. We are all from the earth and when earth, the water, the atmosphere is corrupted, then it will create its own reaction. The mother is reacting. In the Hopi prophecy, they say the storms and the floods will become greater. To me, it's not a negative thing to know that there will be great changes. It's not negative, it's evolution. When you look at it as evolution, 
it's time. Nothing stays the same. You should learn how to plant something. This is the first connection. You should treat all things as spirit. Realize that we are one family. It's never something like the end. It's like life. There is no end to life. A favorite song in our church. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see sky. to um, invite a guest speaker up. You might recognize him. He is going to be reading a poem for us called Rain Poem by Jango White. Colt. What if our religion was each other? If our practice was our life, if prayer, our words. What if the temple was the earth, if forests were our church, if holy water, the rivers, lakes, and ocean? What if meditation was our relationships, if the teacher was life, if wisdom was self-knowledge, if love was the center of our being? Thank you, Cole. Thank you. 
To the individual. Uh, this just happened this week, so it brought it to my to the forefront for me. We lost a, a wonderful woman who brought us many smiles and laughter, and has said laughter is an instant vacation. And Betty White provided us many vacations, thanks to her. In an interview, she was asked what she thought was the most important thing in a successful relationships. She replied with one word, kindness. Her kindness extended not to just people, but also to the animal kingdom as well, supporting rescues and endangered species. Kindness, a great word to carry with us into the new year. And here is my New Year's wish for you, author unknown. A new year is like a blank book. It has 12 chapters and 365 pages, and you are the author. My wish for you is that this year, you write the most beautiful story possible for yourself. Happy New Year. And here is a Happy New Year song to you. I should say a happy song. Written by Peggy Lee and Mel Torme. Go ahead 
are in reverse. Well, now the road ahead may look pretty rocky, but the road behind is bound to be worse. If you close your eyes, you won't see the sunshine. If you plug your ears, you won't hear a thing. But if you shut your heart, you'll shut out the feeling, and you're never gonna have any reason to sing. You're a tough act to follow. It was wonderful, your music, and, and learning more about you. But it was fun, familiar, new music, and inspirational. So thank you so much. At this time, I have to ask you to do one more song. Um, and it's our hymn for closing, number 128, For All That Is Our Life. For all that is our life, we sing our thanks and praise for all our gifts and gift which we are called to use to build the common good and make. our candle with the hope that we will all be the light, bringing hope and kindness to the world. Please join me with the Let There Be Peace on Earth.
To leave our congregation with one final thought from Bishop Tutu, who passed away recently also. We've lost some really fine, fine people. And his words live on, though, and he was a very wise man. We were made to enjoy music, to enjoy beautiful sunsets, to enjoy looking at the billows of the sea, and be thrilled with a rose that is bedecked with dew. Human beings are actually created for the transcendent, for the sublime, for the beautiful, for the truthful. And all of us are given the task of trying to make this world a little more hospitable to these beautiful things. So rest in peace, Bishop, to will listen and follow your advice. Thank you. And thank you, Carol, that was wonderful. Those of you in the sanctuary and on Zoom, please stay and we'll talk with Carol at the end of our service. <laughs>